Dr. Jen with White Wave Body Work, and in this video, what we're going to go over is a side lying straight leg raise, which really works the sides of the hips. I like to say glute medius in particular. But what we're going to try to do is get into a comfortable position, laying on our side with our hips stacked up on top of each other. This bottom knee can be bent and the hip can be flexed wherever you feel comfortable for balance. So sometimes people will try to pull their foot a little bit farther forward or a little bit farther backward. Whatever feels comfortable, like you can balance yourself when you lift this top leg. It's essentially what we're aiming for right there. So the other thing is if you want to get your head in a comfortable position, I like to just rest my head on my forearm and try to think that everything here is in a straight line. Some people like to use a pillow. So that can also be used underneath the leg. So if your leg doesn't feel comfortable in this position going all the way down, like maybe that's too much of a pull here, you can rest your foot on a pillow and only go from the pillow up. So whatever feels comfortable for you. For this exercise, the biggest thing that I see people do is when they lift their leg, they rock the hip back and they lift the leg up and forward. What I want you to think is lift up and back with your leg because what we're trying to do is keep the body in a straight line head shoulders hips knees foot all in a straight line okay no hinging forward at the hip we're trying to strengthen these muscles on the side of the buttock not the front of the hip so we're trying to keep the leg back in line with the hip all right so on a lift we're going to try to exhale and pull the belly button in on a lower, we're going to try to inhale and fill up the belly. Exhale, lift, pull the belly button in. If that sounds like coordinating the breath is too hard to do all at once, I want you to go back to some other videos where we talk about breathing, transverse abdominis activation, which is pulling the belly button in, and pelvic floor activation, which is that Kegel action or pulling the pelvic floor up and in. Tap into those things first without movement, and then come back to this video and try to coordinate the breath and the muscle activation in the core with these exercises. It's a really important piece of all the exercises to me that you can coordinate your breath with your abdominal muscles and your pelvic floor muscles. All right, I'm off my pedestal. <laughs> so let's coordinate all this together. Inhale from this position, fill up, relax the pelvic floor, exhale, lift, Pull the belly button in, pelvic floor up and in, inhale to lower. Now one of the things I didn't talk about was pulling the foot up and making the knee straight. So you're gonna try to flex at the ankle and really press the knee back and straight as you lift and try to think up with the foot and back with the foot to try to keep the body in this straight line. Okay, so the whole time the leg is lifting and lowering, the, the ankle is flexed, toes are pulled up towards your nose, and the knee is pressing back nice and straight. So you have a nice straight leg raise. The other thing is you're not coming so high that you're rocking your hip back. You're just trying to come to the level of the hip or maybe a little bit higher if that feels comfortable for you. So those are all of the, I guess, modifications that I see when people do that exercise that I feel like need some cueing sometimes. So watch the video a couple times and see if you can put all those pieces together or just do it while I'm saying the cues and see if what I'm saying matches up with what you're doing. Try it out at home. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below and thanks for watching. I hope you learned something.